first you have to import a background that you want to have then after adding that background you have to add the audio or the part where you have wanted to uh, make those clone and also the beats so after that you have to add the overlay the green screen animation or any picture that you uh, wanted to make clones so then uh, what you have to do you have to remove the green screen of it by going to chrome key selecting the color selecting the intensity and shadow up to 50. then uh, after that check out that your animation is uh, under the duration if it's not adjusted then what you have to do uh, you have to check it out that uh, any kind of green screen or any thing is not available over there then you have to adjust it so over here i'm setting the scale of this to like 65 60 uh, because i want that much of that then uh, after checking your animation make the duplicate copies of your animation like this make two copies of the same animation and drag it right under it as you have seen on the screen after that click on the above overlay and add a keyframe at the starting leave the first beat go to the center add a keyframe then leave another beat go to the ending add a keyframe now you can see that we have a keyframe at the starting middle and at the ending now do the same for the middle overlay add a keyframe to the starting add the and ending and at the center okay after that go to the beats that we have left over here over here add a keyframe go to the basic and over here set the x-axis to 270 260 according to you so now for the other you will go into the opposite direction so it will be minus 260 now apply the same numbers to the next beat that we have left over here 260 in the minus and 260 in the plus on the above overlay just like this plus 260 so we can get the movement after this you can see that uh, we are getting a proper movement of what we want but it is, it is a little bit slow so for that uh, we will adjust the graph of it so we'll go into the graph set the graph to ease out one make sure you add ease out one graph in between of each keyframes it will give a good and smoother movement to your uh, like clones after that uh, make sure uh, that it's clear and every keyframe have their graph then what you have to do uh, you have to uh, add some effects so for that we will go into the video effects and we'll search colorful effect over here add this effect over here and then again make sure you add the colorful effects two times then set the object of these into the overlays like setting the object to the overlays like this so that the clones that we have the overlays that we have are changing their colors after this we have to add more effect which will be in the negative oh sorry in the night clip uh, the color name of that is the orange negative make sure you add it and set the speed to 100 and then set the object to the one of the clones uh, make uh, one more effect the similar effect the orange negative put it again here then set the object to one of the clones that is being left now you can see that the clones are changing their color and it's looking pretty good after this uh, you have to check it out one or two times uh, if you are satisfied by this you can just export it and the work is not completed the next part uh, will be just right after the video is exported now after exporting this check it out now you just have to go back to the same project as you can see and you have to add the exported video just like this and delete the extra part like the overlays the green screen animation that we have added the effects that we have you have to delete all of them so we can get the beats that we have over here then uh, after importing it you have to add a keyframe into this add a keyframe at the starting then leave first beat add a keyframe at the next beat which will be in the center then leave one bit and add a keyframe at the ending after adding this go to the beat that we have left and over there add a keyframe go to the basic go to scale wait a second go to basic go to scale and increase the scale up to 140 150 160 depending on how much you want it to be scale up now go to the next one do the same go to basic and increase the scale up to 140 after this you can see that we are getting that movement but we want a little bit faster movement so we will add graph which we will use ease out one graph over here so we can get that faster and smoother movement so i think i did a little bit mistake over here, so i will recorrect it by adjusting my keyframe over here as you can see there was a mistake i made uh, like 
a little bit of mistake over here but i recorrected it and now you can see that uh, our movement is looking pretty good and our clones are coming good a zoom in and zoom out is good then we will add a black screen over here a black picture in the overlays and make sure it cover a whole picture or the screen then uh, adjust the duration of it then we will go into the splice and we will set the opacity of this black color screen or black photo to 60 70 65 according to you i will prefer you should put it on the 60 and 65 then we will go into the mask and in the mask we will select the mirror mask and we will also just click on the invert option then we will adjust it and make sure you adjust it properly like this and after that uh, make sure the axis and y axis of this mask is zero then you have to adjust the feather of it uh, make the feather to 9 to 10 but over here i think the 20 21 will be better for me so that's why i have added that much of feather in it after this you can see that uh, it's not moving but we will give this a moment so go into the second beat add a keyframe leave the center beat go to the next beat add a keyframe over here after that go to the center beat uh, increase the scale by your thumb just like this go to the starting increase the scale by your thumb go to the ending over here increase the scale by your thumb just like this okay after increasing the scale uh, we have to add graph in it so we will use ease out graph over here uh, we will add ease out graph just like this in between of all of the keyframes that we have then uh, check it out one or two times but still we have to add one more effect which will be the wide angle effect so go and search wide angle effect add the wide angle effect like this then go to the uh, adjustment of this set the intensity to 30 and then set the object of this to all videos so it can cover the whole screen just like this after adding this effect check your video one or two times and if you are satisfied by the clothes and the effects that you have you can export it but if you want to add more of the overlays you can also add it then I, and i hope that you guys have learned something new and make sure to like share and subscribe till then we'll meet in the next video and peace out